Hello students. Myself, Siddheshwar B. Tulzapure, Associate Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. So in this session, we are going to deal with Euler's equation of motion and Bernoulli's equation. The learning outcomes. At the end of this session, students will be able to derive Euler's equation of motion and Bernoulli's equation. The contents are, firstly we will have introduction, then we will go for derivation of Euler's equation of motion, then from Euler's equation we will derive the Bernoulli's equation, then we will go through the different components of Bernoulli's equation and lastly the references. Now let us consider a fluid element moving along a streamline. So a streamline we have shown it with the help of this particular say line. So in the moving in the direction it is yes. We are going to consider one fluid element here. So that fluid element it is having the length it is ds and the next to that one we are having the cross section area of that one it is as da. So the element it is cylindrical. So the cross section area da and length of that one it is ds. Now here you can consider the different forces which are acting on this fluid element. Say firstly say on the left hand side here, say it is pressure P into it is dA. So this is the force which is acting here on this particular surface of the fluid element. So it is P dA. So when we are moving from this particular point to this particular point that is on the another side of this uh, element, say we are having the variation in the pressure. Let that say rate of variation be dou p by dou s and the what distance we have moved is we have moved a distance equal to it is ds. So the change is corresponding to dou p by dou s into it is ds this is going to be the total change. Then this change plus already existing pressure p so this will be the total pressure so it will be p plus it is dou p by dou s into ds so bracket complete into da if we are doing we will get the say force which is acting on that particular phase. So the fluid elements these are considered under compression. So we will have this arrow towards this one like this and this arrow in this direction. So we are having. Then the we are having the weight of this element acting vertically downward. So it is now say we are going to consider dA and dS. Say so dA dS it is going to give you the volume. Then multiplied by rho it is going to give you density. Uh, say so multiplied by density it is going to give you the say mass then multiplied by g so it is going to give you the weight so weight it is acting through the cg then say the horizontally if you are moving to this side say from the centers of these two elements we will have the vertical distance as equal to dz then this inclined uh, say length that is the length of the element we are having so this one it is ds and the angle between ds and dz lines this is corresponding to theta. Say if this say we are going to consider now the Newton's second law of motion. So where summation of all the forces is equal to mass into it is acceleration we are having. So we will have the say plus and minus signs to the different forces uh, corresponding to the directions these are. Say PDA suppose if it is taken positive. So the second force say pressure force it is p plus dou p by dou s into ds and the whole bracket multiplied by da so it will have minus sign. Then we are going to have the component of this weight which is acting vertically downward say it is in the direction so, uh, similar to the say this p plus dou p by dou s etc. So this will have also the minus sign so it will be rho g da ds into this component it is going to be the cos component because it is adjacent side. So it is cos theta will be there. So this is equal to, so we are having the mass as rho into it is dA dS that is density multiplied by volume it gives you the mass. Then we are going to have the acceleration. So mass into acceleration on the right hand side summation of all the forces in that direction. So it is on the left hand side. So now the acceleration in s direction is equal to it is dv by dt actually. So v it is the function of s and it is t. See now velocity it is function of this direction and it is time t is there. So now this dv by dt can be written as 
dou v by dou s into it is ds by dt plus it is dou v by dou t it is see we are having this one as again equal to say dou v by dou s we are having it as it is dou ds by dt so it is now v then plus it is dou v by dou t it is written as it is so ds by dt it is replaced by v so that is the only difference between this one and this parameter so this dv by dt can be written as this one so that you should remember so it is with reference to the full derivative and partial derivative etc using the mathematical say uh, expressions we can have this dv by dt in another form now think of whether what will be the say value of dou v by dou t if the flow is steady see the condition we are having steady flow and you are having the say interested in the interest in the parameter it is dou v by dou t for steady flow what will be the value of dou v by dou t so if you remember that uh, say the definition of steady flow we will come to know this value say for steady flow the parameters doesn't change with respect to time so velocity is one of the parameters which is not changing again with respect to the time in case of steady flow so there if there is no change so and velocity it is going to be constant dou v by dou t it is going to be zero so parameters doesn't change with reference to the say uh, time in case of the steady flow that is what you remember and this dou v by dou t if we are putting it zero in the say earlier equation see where we are having this dou v by dou t it is here so in the acceleration term say two terms were there acceleration parameter so second one it is going to become zero only v into dou v by dou s it is going to remain so that as it is again it is to be put here so the first equation we are going to have there and then pda here it is plus and here minus pda it will be if you solve the bracket then you are going to have this minus dou p by dou s into ds into da so here it is this minus sign and this parameter it is going to remain as it is so we will have further say the substitution of the parts as it is now going to be v into dou v by dou s only and say you are going to have this as minus dou p by dou s into da ds minus rho g da ds into it is cos theta and e is equal to on the right hand side it is mass into acceleration so in terms of the say in case of that one we have put the equations here so it will be now the say rho d a into ds into it is dou v by dou s we are having so now in case of this say number of parameters we have cancelled and what we are now having is say here let us divide this equation by rho ds into it is da da ds it is lying everywhere it is da ds da ds we are having here also da ds we are having and we are now say additionally taking the term rho along with that one and we are dividing it the this particular equation by this parameter it is rho ds into it is da so what we will get is we will get this as minus it is dou p by it is rho ds minus we will get this g cos theta is equal to we will get this as v dou v by it is dou s is there so in case of this one so here it is rho v it is missing actually so it is it will be v dou v by dou s on the right hand side because this will get cancelled and this parameter it is as it is so cos theta it is lying so rho da ds this is getting cancelled so here da ds it is getting cancelled but rho parameter is not there so we are having the first parameter as minus dou p by rho into ds minus g cos theta is equal to it is v into dou v by dou s then here you are going to have somewhat uh, modifications so these minus terms you can take this to the right hand side it will be now dou p by rho ds dou s plus g cos theta plus v dou v by dou s is equal to 0 
then making use of this uh, vertical distance and inclined length etc so cos theta is equal to you are having this as dz upon it is ds so putting the value of cos theta in the earlier equation you will get this as 1 upon rho say it is multiplied by dp by ds then plus it is dz by ds plus v dv upon ds is equal to 0 so this one is nothing but it is dp by rho plus g dz plus it is v dv is equal to 0 so ds we are avoiding in the next equation and then this one is now written again below so it is dp by rho plus d g dz plus it is v dv is equal to 0 this is nothing but it is the Euler's equation of motion now let us go for the integration of this Euler's equation and say get the Bernoulli's equation so it is integration of dp by rho plus integration of g dz plus integration v dv is equal to it is constant so if the flow is incompressible rho is going to be constant so you are going to have this equation as now so it is p by rho plus gz plus it will be v square by 2 is equal to it is constant so you can rearrange the terms now so it will be p by rho g because so it is pressure head we are knowing so we are bringing it in that form so it is p by rho g plus z plus v square by 2g is equal to constant velocity if it is taken second it will be p by rho g plus v square by 2g plus z is equal to say it is constant so this one is nothing but it is the Bernoulli's equation so p by rho g plus v square by 2g plus z is equal to constant p by rho g is nothing but it is the say pressure head or you can say it as a pressure energy per unit it is weight of the fluid or it is pressure head secondly it is kinetic head v square by 2g and then lastly it is say z is the potential head so you can have other terms as say kinetic energy per unit weight you can write in case of z you can write it as potential energy per unit weight so all these are energies per unit weight firstly corresponding to pressure second it is velocity and lastly it is say datum these are the references used for this particular session thank you